We are here on Vintage Snowmobile Lovers Facebook page. We're here in Washington, Vermont on Lowry Road. They're having a, the local club, the uh, Washington Snowflyers. They're having a vintage rally today. It's a little after 8 a.m. And uh, they're just getting situated right now. We've got, we'll be seeing the distance here. They've got some ski news coming off the sled and some other people showing up. And they're getting set up there in the clubhouse, as you can see, in and around the clubhouse. Once everything's all set up, they're going to have the snowmobiles all lined up right here on the side of the clubhouse. And they're going to have trophies, and, and uh, it's going to be a full day of vintage activities. So if you are in the area, come on by. Come on by and join in the fun. We're on Lowry Road in Washington, Vermont, Carpenter's Field. So come on by, join in the fun, and if you're not in the area, be sure to monitor this Facebook page throughout the day because I'm going to do a little podcast throughout the day. I'm just doing this for a couple of minutes now just to let everyone know that, are, that we're here and it's happening and it's real. Uh, and then we've got a whole day of podcasts, live podcasts uh, about vintage snowmobiles going to be happening. I'm also doing this to check out make sure I have a good uh, connection with the, uh, with the network. So... This is it for now. I just wanted to get on for a minute or two and let everyone know that we're here. Make sure that we've got a good signal for doing these podcasts. I see we've got 17 people on here. If you can see this Rupp snowmobile in front of me and hear my voice, make a comment. Let me know that you can see me and hear me okay. Let me know where you're from, what city and state you're from. If you're planning to come by, let us know in the comments. Also, if you have friends or family who you think might be interested in this, that we're going to be doing live podcasting all day at this vintage snowmobile event in Washington, Vermont, on Lowry Road. I had to get all the details in there, see how that works. But if you've got friends and family you think would be interested in this, please either share this video with them, this podcast with them, or tag them so that they can be made aware of this uh, and can be monitoring this Facebook page throughout the day because we're going to be doing some live podcasting. And... Um, Maybe share it on your own profile, too, if you feel like it. So, um, here we go. Uh, Larry Dove, where are we at? Yes, we are in Washington, Vermont. We're, they're, they're ho the uh, Washington Snowflyers are hosting a vintage snowmobile rally. This is the first of many to arrive. As you can see over there, they've got a couple of ski dudes coming off the trailer or off a flatbed. Uh, and they're going to have all the snowmobiles lined up here right next to the clubhouse. This is down on Lowry Road, like Lowry Seasoning Salt, same spelling. I don't know that they're going to have any seasoning salt in the in the burger shack there, but you never know. We can ask for it. But uh, if you're in the area, central Vermont, come on down and join in the fun. And if you're not, and if you're just joining us, we're going to be doing live podcasting throughout the day at this vintage snowmobile, this vintage uh, snowmobile rally. Um, I keep repeating myself because the people continue to jump on here, so I want everyone to know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, keep monitoring this Facebook page throughout the day. We're going to be doing some live podcasting throughout the day at this vintage snowmobile event in Washington, Vermont, on Lowry Road. As the activities and the action unfolds, you'll be seeing more and more. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. I'm going to wrap up this podcast for now. But, like I said, uh, the action is just barely getting started. In fact, it hasn't even begun. People are just getting here and unloading their sleds. So, uh... If you like vintage snowmobiles, this is the place to be today on Facebook. We're going to be doing live podcasting today. Like I said, if you have friends or family you think might be interested in this, please either tag them on this podcast or share this on their profile. Also, feel free to share it on your own profile as well to help get the word out. We're going to be doing live podcasting here all day long at this vintage snowmobile rally in Washington, Vermont, on Lowry Road. And like I said, if you're in central Vermont, come on by and join in the fun. Uh, so with that, I'm going to conclude this little podcast, but stay tuned. Monitor this Facebook page throughout the day because it hasn't even started yet. So the, the fun is about to begin. Thanks, guys. And we are here in Washington, Vermont. And we're talking to Tyler. Tyson. Ty oh, Tyson. I'm sorry. Yeah, Tyson. Okay. My apologies. Sure. We're here at the Vintage Snowmobile Rally, and Tyler has brought some sleds. Look Tyson. at that. Ty I'm sorry. God, what's the matter with me? <laughs> Tyson has brought these sleds, uh, and he's got them for sale. So if anyone in New England is interested in these sleds, Tyler, Tyson's going to tell us about them. I almost did it again. I apologize. Sorry. But yeah, go ahead, Tyson. We've got a couple of 1980 John Deere split fires. One of them runs um, off spray, probably needs fuel and whatnot. The other one, I don't know. 
You can buy them both, 200 bucks each, our best offer. 200 bucks each for the John Deere Spitfires. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, 72 Flares Mustang, 488. That runs and drives. Uh, probably need a little clutch work, but goes 650 your best offer. Nice, so 72 Polaris Mustang, 650 your best offer. You said it runs and drives. That one does, yep. Nice, nice. This one here would be a good hard stoner, it needs a motor. XC600. <laughs> Nice. Good chassis. Yep. Got an old Boski. I actually don't know the year of it. Um, 428, I think is what it says it is. Uh, that runs and drives. And I'm looking for 500 bucks on that one. Nice. 500 bucks for the Boski. Runs and drives. Got Not it. sure what year, but early 70s you said, huh? Yeah, I'd say. Nice. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I got a Cherry Panther. This is an 81. This thing is mint, 1200 bucks or best offer. Nice, so a Cherry Panther, 1981, 1200 or best offer. Yep. Nice, and so when we're done on this side, we'll go around the back side and see what we can see there too, sure. so the viewers can, uh, but go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm thinking it's an 01 XC600, runs and drives. Nice, 01 XC600, runs and drives. Yeah, I'd take 1200 bucks for best 1200 offer. 1200 bucks, nice. Nice, and uh, for those watching, we're in central Vermont here in Washington, Vermont. And in a minute, Tyson's going to give us his phone number, but he's going to tell us about some more sleds here. This one, this one here is a 98 Yamaha V-Max. Uh, it's got electric start, reverse, 8,000 miles. This runs and drives all good. 1,200 bucks, our best offer. Nice. That's a nice shape. seeing that stuff all day and for those just joining us we've got over we've got almost 50 people watching us here right now live but for those of us just joining we're at the vintage snowmobile rally in washington vermont on lowry road so if you're in the area come on by and if you're not in the area keep an eye on this facebook page all day we're going to be doing live podcasts throughout the day but go ahead tyson this last one here next to last one yeah this is a 97 v max 500 um, I just picked this one up. It does run and go. It really only runs with a choke on, so it probably needs a little carburetor work. About a thousand bucks or best offer. Nice. I'm sorry. A thousand bucks? Yeah. I also have some two-up stuff to go with these things if anyone's interested. Nice. This one here. Yeah, this is a friend of mine. I honestly don't know the year of it. I'm guessing an 05-ish. Yeah, yeah. It is a... Uh, come around on this side of you. Go ahead, I'm sorry. It is not an MXZ, it's a GSX, it just has the plastics on it. Sure. This runs and drives, um, and I think he's at $2,500. 2500 nice. And cool. We got one more on the back of the truck, which I forgot to mention. Oh yeah, the cat, yeah. Yeah, that's a 2007. Well, actually, yeah. while we go back over there, why don't we go around the back side? Sure. And while we're doing that, Tyson, if, someone want, if someone's watching this and is curious about any of these sleds here in central Vermont, what's yeah. a good phone number to get a hold of you? You can call or text me at 802-522-3614. Nice. Again, that's 802-522-3614. Nice, nice. Well, good. So let's generate some activity here for Tyson. Dress warm. Yeah, definitely. And I'm going to do a slow, slow look at these sleds from the back side. We've got 55 viewers watching this live in real time. Oh, it comes with a manual and everything. Yeah. This thing is a cherry. It is. Nice shape. The seat's in nice shape. The cab's in nice shape. The cowl. The running boards are nice and straight. Here's that boa ski. And here's those deers, two Spitfires. Yeah, one pops off, one we're not sure. Haven't messed with it. Sure. And these sleds are all for sale in case you're just joining us. We're in central Vermont here with Tyson. And he's going to give his phone number again one more time here in just a minute. So if you're, if you're in New England and interested in any of these sleds, Tyson's your man. Yeah. And Tyson's going to show us this cat. It's a 07 Z1 non-turbo. It's an 1100 twin cylinder. Um, it's got a pile of miles on it. It's got like 10,000 miles on it. Someone read the track and whatnot. Let's go by. We can't talk anyway, so we'll right. look at them. Music to my ears. Absolutely. Tony, some activity. Tony snow jet. Nice. Well, let's get to the other side of this. 
Actually, we'll go around to the front of it. So if you're liking this video, please share it with your friends and family, anyone that you think might be interested in seeing this, or tag them. The two-place snowmobile trailer is also for sale down there. Oh, two-place snowmobile trailer. Okay, the, the, the trailer those last two sleds were on? Yeah. Nice. And this is that Jaguar, the four-stroke Jaguar he was talking about. Six hundred bucks on the trailer. Okay, six hundred for the trailer. And how much was the Jag? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Our best offer. Nice, nice. So let's get that phone number one more time, Tyson. It's We're in Central Vermont. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. Eight zero two five two two three six one four. Nice. One more time. Eight zero two five two two three six one four. Beautiful, beautiful. We have seventy-seven people right now watching this live in real time. Somebody said uh, good morning from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Yep. 81 people watching this live. That's great. Nice. I wish they were here. Definitely. So if you guys are just joining us, we're at a snow, vintage snowmobile rally in Washington, Vermont. We're going to be doing podcasts all throughout the day, so monitor the Vintage Snowmobile Lovers Facebook channel. We're going to be doing live podcasts all day long. And if you're in the area, come by and join us. We're on Lowry Road in Washington, Vermont, central Vermont, near Barry and Montpelier. Uh, so that's it for now. We're going to shut it down. Thanks for watching this podcast. And uh, at the bottom of this screen, you, you might see a little button you can push to be notified of future podcasts. If you want to see more of this kind of content, um, just click that button and you'll be notified as we do more of these. We're going to be doing live podcasts all throughout the day here on the Vintage Snowmobile Lovers Facebook page. Here's the snow jam. We're going to be doing this all day long. I'm going to shut down the podcast. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you in a little while. Keep an eye on this uh, Facebook page. All right, so we're live. Yes, what we have here is a 1969 Rupp GT300 aluminum chassis lift kit. It's got the stand up bar for it. Oh, nice. Trailer hit. And my number is 802-371-8696. Nice. Or come up to Washington and see for yourself and come up and have a hot dog and a hamburger. It'd be great. Absolutely. Yeah, and have fun here today, even though the weather's not quite cooperating. <laughs> That's for sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm going to do another walk around of it, and we'll talk up this right. event a little bit. Yeah, we have it. It's our third annual. Yeah, but well, I mean, yeah, talk it up. Yep. Yeah, and... Uh, SS model. And uh, yeah, this event is our third year. We tried to have it last week, but Mother Nature was freezing us. And now she's like coating us with a nice dusting of snow. Yeah. That's what we like. Absolutely. And yeah, so we'll be here next year. It'll be our first weekend in January. Nice. So put so it on your calendar on. if you can't make it this year. Absolutely. We're here on Lowry Road in Washington, Vermont. We're at the Vintage Snowmobile Rally. I'm going to get a shot of some of these slides. We're at the Vintage Snowmobile Rally. We're going to be doing podcasts like this all day long. So if you know of anyone who's interested, would be interested in watching this, please tag them or share this on their profile so they can see it. And be checking on this Facebook page throughout the day because we're going to be doing live podcasts. And as you see, it was Robert, right? Robert Blanchard. Yeah, Robert Blanchard. President Blanchard. of the Snowflyers. A president. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, uh, we also have a 911 address of 2544 if they want to look it up on their uh, GPS to get here. Nice. So because 2544 uh, is the address here. Lowry Road. Yep. Nice. Nice. They say that the president and vice president of Lowry Seasoning Salt is going to be here today. Oh, really? <laughs> Good. That's my favorite. Nice. <laughs> They're going to sprinkle it on all the burgers. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Cool. Can't wait to see them. Yeah. So yeah, we've got 36 viewers live right now. All right. And then when I set it down, it'll have viewers all throughout the day, thousands of views. So we're here looking at some of Robert Lefevre's sleds. He's got the two ski-doos here. 
What can you tell us, Robert, about these sleds? Did you want to be in the shot or rather be behind? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Well, the one on the right is a 69 TNT. It's got a 340 single in it, modified, modified pipe, modified suspension, hood's been carved out. I pretty much built the built the sled myself. Runs good, does about uh, 8,000 RPM. It's pretty fast for an old sled, probably about 60 miles. 60? Yep. That is fast. Yep. Nice, nice. So we'll get a couple of different angle on this. Now is that the original suspension or is that a slide suspension put in after? Or? That's a slide suspension that I built myself. But mismatched on the pieces. Nice. To fit the chassis. Nice. And then this a lot of machine work to get right, it to sorry. fit in there. Oh bad, yeah. Yeah. And then this TNT is yours as well? Yes, this is a uh, 76 Snow Pro clone. Uh, it's got a, a repop Snow Snow Pro hood. Um, that sled there is sort of home built myself too. It's got a jack shaft conversion in it, modified 345 rotary valve, uh, motor, crankshaft pipes, another homemade suspension I did myself. I did the seat. Um, built, actually both of these sleds for, were built for racing. Nice. Have you had them on the track? Have you had a chance to race them? I've had both on the track. Never could get this one quite to perform right because I can't get an air box on it. Yep. Uh, because of the interference with the carburetor throat and the jack shaft. Yep. It's too close. Sure. Um, so anytime I'm getting snow up in there, it doesn't want to rev. Sure. This one here runs really well. Was very competitive, um, although I probably won't race anymore as I'm kind of getting up there in age. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So we've got somebody viewing this. Les French is watching this. He's wondering if you can fire up the TNT so we can hear it. Are you up for doing that? This one? Yeah, yeah, the TNT. We're doing this for Les French. We've got 20, 28 viewers right now watching this live. Oh, yeah. Washington, Vermont on Lowry Road. The Snow Flyers, the Washington Snow Flyers are hosting an event today. It's a vintage snowmobile rally. If you're in central Vermont, come on by and check it out. Have fun with us. If you're not in the area, be sure to uh, monitor the Facebook page throughout the day. We're going to be doing live podcasts throughout the day. And if you know people who you think might like this, vintage snowmobile enthusiasts, uh, share this on their profile. Share this podcast on their profile or tag them so that they can see it. Uh, also, if you feel like it, share it on your own profile. And uh, we thank you for watching. We're going to uh, shut down this podcast, but keep monitoring the Facebook page. We'll be doing them throughout the day. So thank you for viewing. So we're here with Donald Tibbetts, and he's going to tell us about some of the sleds he brought today.
No, go ahead. Okay. We got a 78 Kawasaki. 78 miles on it, I think. 182 miles. Wow. Uh, all original. All original. All original. I'm the I'm the second owner. Nice. I'm just gonna get from different angles here. Yeah, go ahead. Please keep talking. Yeah, that's great. It's a uh, 440 Invader liquid. And then I've got a yep. 70 Alouette with a with a uh, sleigh cutter. 70 Alouette's also all original, except the only thing that's been done to it is the skis have been painted. Skis that's, painted. Wow. Everything else is original. That's amazing. That's an amazing it's got a shape. 293 Sachs engine. And uh, I've got a 73. Arctic Cat LT Gray, and uh, it's also all original. Uh, nothing, nothing's been touched on it. The previous owner may have painted the skis, I'm not sure, but everything else I know is original. Uh, got 791 miles. 791 miles. Original miles. Wow. That's just barely broken in. That's amazing. Great. Well, thank you, Donald. I appreciate it. You're welcome. So we're here with Charlie. We're in Washington, Vermont at the Washington Vintage Snowmobile Rally, and he's going to tell us about a couple of sleds he brought. Well, first one of them is a 1977 Kawasaki Snowjet. It's the last year of Snowjet. Kawasaki had purchased them two or three years before and brought them out. Now it's kind of a pre-runner to the Drifter. Sure. It's a 1977 340 SST Yamaha powered. Wow, that's clean under there. That's nice. Yeah, I got this out in uh, the A1 show in Michigan, uh, the first part of November. It's a barn fine. It has 697 miles on it. Wow, barn fine. Don't find many of those anymore. No, you sure don't. As you can see the original pole, the pole tree and everything is original on it. The hood has a few battle scars for a 77. Yeah. Starts and runs fantastic. Nice. Nice sled to keep in the collection for a few years. For sure. The second one is a 1971 Chaparral Firebird. I picked this one up three years ago in New York State. Rebuilt the motor, 440 sacks. Uh, C motor on it. Went through it, painted it, shined the chassis up. Both collectibles. Nice, nice to have to play with the shows like this. For sure. Yeah, both really nice examples. Yeah. Outstanding. Well, thank you very much. You're You're good. Welcome. Getting a lot of thumbs up here. This is the live viewers. See David Anderson. Thank oh, you for cool. the thumbs up, David. Cool. Thank you. And we got 26 live viewers. And then after we uh, we're finished, it'll continue to get th you know thousands of views throughout the day. Super, super. And uh, so I'm just going to talk up what we're doing here. We're here at, at the uh, Washington, Vermont Vintage Snowmobile Rally, looking at a bunch of vintage sleds. If you're in the area, come on by and join in the fun. We're on Lowry Road in Washington, Vermont. And all you guys that didn't come, all you guys that said you were going to come, we braved it. I came from Bartlett across in the snowstorm, so come on, you guys. You're grown-ups. Let's do this. Exactly. Snow we're snowmobilers. we got to step up for these kind of things. Absolutely. Keep the sport going. Absolutely. And then um, the other thing, too, is if you're watching this and you're not in the area, um, we're going to be doing podcasts like this all throughout the day, so keep monitoring this Facebook page. And if you've got friends or family that you think would be interested in this, uh, please either share this podcast on their profile or tag them so they can see it. And if you feel like it, share it on your own profile so it help us get the word out about this event. And uh, we're going to be doing live podcasts here throughout the day. And we're going to be talking up, with, talking to some of the exhibitors. They're going to be talking up their sleds. And we're just having a good old time. And uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, unless this gentleman here would like to talk up his sled, we're doing a live podcast on Facebook. And you, you want to talk up your '69 Panther? Yeah, sure. Good, excellent. Uh, What's your name, sir? Uh, Hank Harvey. Hey, I'm Hank. here in Washington, Vermont. Belong to the Washington Snow Flyers. Uh, this is my '69 Panther. Uh, it's the original, 
only thing that's been done to it, it had the, the leopard part of the seat replaced with black because I couldn't get the leopard, but that's the only thing that's ever been done to it. It's electric start, uh, runs good. I've had the machine probably 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. And, wow. Uh, it uh, runs good, goes with trail good. It's a good sled. Nice, nice. Yep. That's a beautiful example. When I was a kid, we had one just like that. It was a 69, it was single cylinder though. Yeah. Uh, but that thing was a tank. And right. my dad one time was riding up on top of a snowbank and riding the length of it, riding the crest of it. And he kind of was losing his balance with it. So he got off it and it rolled down the bank. Yeah. Two complete revolutions landed upright. And it wasn't a scratch on it. All he had to do was just push up the windshield. Yeah. Well, and he rode it off into the sunset. Right. Well, this is the second one of these I've owned. I bought a brand new one in 1969. Uh, Really, a new one? A brand new one. That was a 372 JLO. Wow. That was 22 horse, and this one's 19, so. So that was even faster than this one. Yep. And, nice. Uh, so I was wanting another one, had an opportunity to buy this, and I bought it. Nice. Reliving yep. the past. Right. Absolutely. The glory years. Yeah. Absolutely. We've got 55 viewers watching live in real time right now. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this. And we're going to be doing live podcasts like this throughout the day. So if you know people who'd like to watch this kind of footage, this kind of content, share it on your profile or tag people. Oh, we got somebody starting up a sled. joining us we're here in Washington Vermont at the the vintage snowmobile rally if you're in the area come on by if you're not in the area please share this on your profile or tag some of your friends who you think would be interested in this we're going to be doing live podcasts like this throughout the day thank you for viewing and I'm going to shut her down now someone needs a windshield for a 1971 snow prince 340 does anyone know where they can find one now here's a guy who's looking for one. Good job, I'm Don Tibbetts. I live in Lunenburg, Vermont. And I just picked that up uh, uh, about a month and a half ago. All right, now what was your name? Thane, Thane Selly. Thane Selly. Well, nice to meet you. Now, Thane is going to tell us about his... It was a 1971 Panther, right? Yep, 71. It's got a 70 seat on it. It's got uh, Harley pipes on it, but it's a 760. 760. Nice, J-Lo. Cadillac. Nice. Does the tank in the back help balance that out a little bit? Well, I, yeah, a little bit, I hope. Yeah, it's a, it's a good solid frame. They, they run pretty good. You know, it's heavy motor. But. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you going to fire it up? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Get it. Washington, Vermont, on Lowry Road at a vintage snowmobile rally. Come on down if you're in the area. If you're not in the area, we're doing podcasts, live podcasts here all day. So monitor the Facebook page uh, so you don't miss any of them. And if you've got friends or family you think would want to see something like this, be sure and tag this podcast on their profile or share it on their profile. And feel free to share it on your own profile as well uh, to help get the word out. We're going to be doing vintage snowmobile content here all day long. We're going to try to find some more of these exhibitors to talk up their sleds. We've had a few of them talk up their sleds already, and they're they're on this Facebook page. So if you want to see some of that, uh, just get on the Facebook page, Vintage Snowmobile Lovers, and scroll down and look for some of those videos that we've been doing. And uh, there, there was a guy earlier looking for a uh, windshield for a 71 Snow Prince. 
And we forget to mention his phone number, but if you're curious about that, uh, contact me directly by uh, sending me an email at the Vintage Snowmobile Lovers Facebook page, or you can comment on that, uh, that video uh, that shows that. And I won't see that for a day or two, because I can't really go back and check. I've just got my cell phone right now. But if you've got a windshield for that guy, let me know. And the Panther's back. All right, I'm going to shut her down. Quinn Tosh. There you go. There you go. He's good at that. You notice? Cold-blooded. Did you want to talk that sled up? Well, this is a 1976 Skidoo RV. And I took it out of the field, and it had been in the field for five years. And here we are. Wow, that's amazing. So we got it running last night and uh, started up again this morning, but it seemed as temperamental right this minute. But sure. We'll get it. Nice. So have you done restoration work on that? Or? No, it's just no? the way we got it. Just out the way you found it. it. Yeah. Nice. That's still a nice example, though, for a field okay. find. Yeah, it certainly is. That's there amazing. Is. Now, was it covered or anything? Or? No. So that's been outside like that for all yeah. those years? Even the seat cover was still good. Yeah, that's amazing. It has a 76. Yes, 1976, 340. 340. Nice. I hear some noise back here. Let's see what we got. Let's snow jet. Glad the people came out that are here, right? Definitely. Yeah, it's a pretty good turnout considering the weather. Yes, sir. Yeah. Figures turn that camera on that thing when you start. Right? Of course. <laughs> turn it right up. That will jinx it every time. <laughs> sure. Nice. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no problem. Need a pen? I'll send you a bill. <laughs> I wanted to take a look at this SS. I remember liking these when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. And I'm trying to find the owner of this so I can get him to talk it up. So hopefully before this is done, we'll see that. And uh, like I said, we're here in uh, Washington, Vermont at a vintage snowmobile rally. Going to be here all day doing podcasts. So if you uh, have family or friends you think would enjoy a vintage snowmobile podcast, please share this on their profile or tag them so they can be made aware of it and share it on their own profile if you can. We're, doing, we're, gonna, we're gonna be doing live podcasts here all day. You don't happen to know who owns this citation, do you? Oh, I don't. No? All right, thank you.
Nice. Running good today, huh? Not bad. Not bad. Good. That's a sweet sled. You said that was a 77? 77. Nice. Barn find. Unbelievable. That's one of the better barn finds I've seen. That's a barn find? Yes, sir. 697 miles on it. Wow. 697 miles. There's a 98 now. 98. Let's see if I can get a close-up on it. Driving around the field to put a mile on it. That's not bad for a little fly. That's amazing. It's got its potential. It needs a little tuning. This one is pretty sweet. Well, every, every of these old sleds always is going to need tuning. It's like an old Charlie, Harley shovel head. You're always going to carry a toolkit with you. Well, I don't know about that. It's still automatically. I'm talking about just tweaking here and there. So we are here in Washington, Vermont, on Lowry Road at a vintage snowmobile rally. Doing podcasts here all day. So uh, if you like what you're seeing, spend some time on the Vintage Snowmobile Lovers Facebook page. Scroll around, and you'll see a whole lot of our podcasts that we've already done, and we're, begin we're going to be doing some more. So just keep an eye on this Facebook page throughout the day and see what we're putting up. If you've got friends or family you think would be interested in all this that we're doing, please share this on their profile or tag them. Maybe share it on your own profile if you feel like it. Help us get the word out about what we're doing. And I thank you in advance for that. I think that's it for now. I'm going to pause. We're going to stop this podcast, but keep an eye on the Vintage, Lo Vintage Snowmobile Lovers Facebook page. We're going to be doing more podcasts throughout the day. And we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. I'm Matt Trask from Corinth, Vermont. We've got a 71 Ski Whiz. Both of them are 71s, actually. This, the other one over here is an original motor, original sled. This one's my mod sled, my powder Ski Whiz. If you want to come take a look at it. I put a 136 inch track with a slide suspension under there. Made the powder dump out running boards. Oh, yeah, look at that. Um, I've got modern plastic skis that I made brackets for the leaf springs. So, got some powder skis on there that actually turn and carbide skis. Good flotation. Under the hood. On this one, we've got a 488 fan stuffed in there with kind of a gnarly homemade exhaust, but it goes pretty good. Um, and did you extend the tunnel too? Uh, it... Just a little bit, yeah. This was a pretty long sled to begin with. And it had the gas tank back here originally, but I wanted a compartment to put snowshoes or whatever and out in the woods. So I made this gas tank for the front. Oh, yeah. yep. I cut out the console and put that gas tank in there. Yeah, nice. So this one, originally it was like this. The tank was in the back. Um, this one's all the original setup. It has a JLO. 340 in it. The only real modification I did to this one was put a just more reliable clutch on there. Um, and I switched it to a Makuni carburetor instead of the Tiltson, which I had to make a bracket for that because the Tiltson on this one went straight up and down and the Makunis won't run on that much 
to an angle. Yeah. But that really just made it much more reliable. Anyone that's had tools knows about playing with those things. Sure. So, so yeah, that's about it with these guys. Nice. They're fun. Nice. That's wonderful. They start and run real good and everything? Yeah, they do. Nice. You wouldn't fire it up by any chance? Yeah, we'll fire it up. Well, they say that it won't start. Of course. <laughs> Anyone that's vintage sled knows the deal with that. Absolutely. And anytime you video with people watching, you know, it's <laughs> going to jinx you. That's awesome. Thank yeah, you so much. No problem. You want to hear this one? Yeah, absolutely. This one's a little louder. All right. It's been modded, right? Well, it's not the original motor. Sure. the sound of that you can tell it's tuned yeah that's good stuff well thank you so much you're welcome oh i don't know trophy is terrible he's coming in right now you want him to get a trophy you want him to get a trophy nice sled 154 which sled was that 154 and i think it was just kawasaki yeah we have to write down that's kawasaki that's a good time to roll now we're moving on to 76 to 80 restored class. We got 155, Bud Gordon. Now that was a uh, snow jet, I believe. Yes, sir. SS. Oh, that was done. Roll, roll, roll. Rolling on to the next category, 68 to 70, unrestored. Hang on, Chris, you have the second place back class. No second place. So, unrestored, 76 to 80. First place goes to Donald Tibbet. Number 53. No, I said 68 to 70. Sorry. Oh, that's the Alouette. The Alouette. Very nice looking sled. Thank you. All original. 68 The one with the car behind it. Unrestored. Unrestored. 68 to 70. Number one. Number one. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And number two goes to. Oh, go ahead. Number two goes to Henry Harvey and his Panther. Very nice sled. Next class is our restored 68 to 70. And first place goes to Robert the Bear. Number 51. Take it to the TIP. That's it. No second place in that category. Moving on to 71 to 75. Unrestored. Donald Dennis with sled number 102. Nice. 71 to 75. Unrestored. That's the LT girl out there. Nice looking sled. Second place, unrestored. 71 to 75. Bud Gordon, number 105. Think it's a snow jet. Now restore 71 to 75. First place goes to Tony Zyder, 101, the snow jet. The sacred jet. And second place. 
place goes to Matt Trask with the Massey Ferguson. Character Clash Stonefield. He's got a PTO on that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 67 and older. Unrestored. Goes to Ryan Brissett. That's the uh, Super 2 out here. What's your name? Electric stair. <laughs> no second place in that category. Sixty-seven and older. Restored sixty-seven and older goes to Bud Gordon. It's a nice looking snow jet out there. It's like the first sled ever made.